Hey guys, so I want to film a review on um, the Sick Lacquers on Etsy. Um, basically, this is just going to be for um, the opacity of the colors, and then throughout the end of the week, I will do one on the longevity of the polishes. I filmed this video about three times, and something always goes wrong, but I love these polishes. Um, but first off, how she sent them, they were just shipped to me in a little plastic bag um, by USPS is how she shipped them. Shipping was fine. Shipping was super fast as well for me. Um, she, I think she shipped them out two days ago, I believe, or like it was a short amount of time ago that she sent them out and they're here. I just got them today and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do the, the, um, color opacity review today and then the longevity will be at the end of the week. So just keep on the lookout for that. I'll have it linked down below. Um, if, the week is up. Obviously, when I, as soon as I upload it, it won't be up. But I'm going to get this uploaded Sunday. This will be up on Sunday, so the next video should be up probably on like a Friday is when I'll want to do it. But these are the polishes that she sent me, and I don't know if these are one of the sizes that she sells on Etsy because she sells two different sizes, which I'll get into in a second, um, or if these are just sample sizes. If I find out, I'll let you know in the down bar what sizes these were so you guys can know. Um, but I'm thinking that these are five milliliters just because. Um, but here they are. This one is called Green Goblin, and then this one over here is called, let's focus, Berries and Cream. Um, and the little sticker, like her little labels are super cute. I love the font that she used and then the fact that there's like three little bottles on the side is so so cute. Um, so I like the label. Um, that's super cute and they're just generic polishes or nail polish bottles. Black. There's nothing too fancy about them which I actually like. They're just simplistic and I really like that. Um, this is the Green Goblin color. It's a Kelly Green gel base, jelly base polish with some hexagonal um, square glitters, circular glitters, just a bunch of different types of glitters and here, different sizes. They're very minuscule to very large, as you can see. Um, so that's Green Goblin, which is super unique. Um, out of all 500 bottles, I don't have a color like either of these. Um, the Berries and Cream one is super pretty as well. It's on a lilac base with the same types of hexagonal glitters. Um, most of these are like medium sized, I would say. Um, but there's pink in here, a darker purple, and a lilac shade. And the pink is a light pink, your generic pink. It's not hot pink or anything, it's just your normal light pink glitter. Um, and these are also very minuscule. I don't know, yeah, I think they're, yeah, they're hexagonal as well. But this one's super unique as well. Um, let me get into sizing. Okay, so she sells two different sizes on Etsy. She sells one that's 5 milliliters, and then the other one is 15 milliliters. The 5 milliliter one retails for $3.50, and the 15 milliliter retails for $7. Um, something else that was super cool about these two are that they are 3 free. If you don't know what 3 free is, 3 free is basically just means that they are not made with like the three harsh chemicals that polishes used to be made with. Most polish or most brands are turning over to the 3 free formula anyway. Um, if you want me to do a video on 3 free brands and the meaning of 3 free and all that, I definitely will. If you want me to do it, just request it down below. But back to the polishes. Um, she has the two different sizes, and let me see, let me compare it to a different brand. Okay, so what I'm going to assume is the full size, obviously 15 milliliters would be the full size one. Compared to OPI, you're going to get the same amount of product um, for $2 cheaper. Um, these have 15 milliliters in these. Um, compared to China Glaze, you're going to get about a milliliter more for a dollar less. And compared to a Sally Hansen, you're going to get a, a mill more for the same price. So they are, you know, the same general size as most nail polish brands. Um, but yeah, these are indie polishes, and indie polishes are known for having the different hexagonal glitters and stuff and just being on jelly bases. But let me go ahead and show you the swatches because I am obsessed with these colors. Here are the two colors on a fake nail. They are, they have two coats of polishes on here. Um, this is just on a clear nail wheel, so it wouldn't add any color to it. This one's Berries and Cream, and this one's Green Goblin. Green Goblin, as you can see, is on a jelly base of green. If you want this to pop out more and be more of a deeper 
Kelly Green, use the Kelly Green base. Um, or if you want it to be this light green like you see here, just use a white um, and it'll just make it lighter. Sorry, I'm kind of dropping out of a, or a camera. And then berries and cream, I really wouldn't say you need a base if you want a base. Or I wouldn't say that you need one um, at all. For this one, If you, I don't really need one, but if you would want it to be more opaque um, and less sheer, then use a base. But these polishes are actually supposed to be sheer like this. Um, but for the berries and cream one, since it's on a lilac, if you only want to do like one coat, you could do a white base or you could even do a lilac base, but make sure it's within the same tone and the, as light as this one. So basically it'll just be a little bit of um, white with a tiny bit of lilac in it. Um, but yeah, those are really good quality. Um, the applicators are just little plastic, regular applicators. The straight ones I'll show you here in a minute. Um, and the scent is exactly the same as any other nail polish brand out there. They just smell the same. I don't know if it's me, but when I get like Japanese nail art things or Japanese polishes or anything like that, they have this weird distinct scent and you're just like, what? So these ones just smell normal, like regular polish. Um, this is the applicator that you get. I'm sure with the 15 milliliter that, it, it's, that it's longer. Um, but I really like these polishes, guys. I'm going to leave all of her links down below. Follow her on Instagram, Facebook, her Pinterest. I'll have her shop down below um, and Facebook and all of that. So all of her stuff will be linked down below. All my links will be linked down below. I'm going to do a blog post for this as well with more pictures with bases and different things like that. So I'll have that link down below as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Request any videos down below in the comments. Let me know how I did in this video with your feedback in the comments as well. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoy your day. Bye, guys.